What's up, everybody? Long time no see, but I'm back again. And this year, uh, hopefully everything is going to go right. So for those of you that may not know, last year, before the snowpocalypse happened in Texas, um, we had a, a brief cold snap in oh, October. Um, it, it was before the holidays. That I don't remember exactly around what time it was, but we had about three days where the temperature got down to about freezing. And during that time, um, I lost one hive completely. They just, the, the whole hive died. Um, and I had the split that I had made actually made it through that batch, which is odd because they were smaller, but they made it through. And over the next couple of days, I tried to get them, uh, built back up, get their population up, um, you know, gave them, um, you know, brood booster and all kinds of other stuff to try to make sure that they were going to make it and they didn't end up making it. Um, they were too weak and they got robbed out. And so uh, I lost both hives last year and, um, you know, it was, it was, I was kind of bummed about it, but it is what it is. I made mistakes and uh, learned from them and hopefully this year things go better. So uh, the hives that I actually have out here right now, I got them in early April again this year. One hive that was just a standard package and one hive that was a super package, which is just, it's two packages, but with one queen. So a normal package is three pounds of bees, one queen. And uh, so I got one of those. That was my first one that shipped out. And then the second one that shipped out the next week was th six pounds of bees. So it was two actual packages and the queen was in one of them. So it was, it was twice the size to start. So... If, if I do end up making a split out of either one of these hives, it'll bring me up to three hives. And hopefully if I have three, or even four hives this year, I'll actually be able to start getting them going. I have a better chance of them uh, surviving throughout the year. So um, it's kind of a kind of an ugly day, uh, even, I mean, especially for a Mother's Day. It's kind of nasty outside. Uh, it did rain last night pretty heavy. Um, so the ground is wet. Everything that's out here that's bloomed is probably useless and, um, the bees aren't even going to go for it. I don't even know if they're going to be out foraging because it's kind of early. It's windy. It's not cold, but it's a little chilly. Uh, it's a little earlier in the day than usual than, uh, than I usually come out here. So there's a bunch of factors going in today. They're probably going to be a little stingy and uh, they're not gonna want anybody digging through their hive, which I, I can't blame them for that, but I gotta do it. You know, I gotta keep them healthy. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my gear and then we'll get out to the hive and see what we got going on. All right, got my smoker going, got my hive opened up. Let's see what we got going on. Not expecting that. So this is just a frame of honey, nectar, nothing too special going on there. Should be empty, which it is. All right. Now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes. 
Let's see what they got going on in these frames. Oh, very nice. Look at all that. So, I don't know if this is going to show up on camera here. So all this right here, this whole center, this is all cap brood. And it's a pretty good pattern too. And then around the edges is nectar. And then all this that's capped off up here, this is honey. So that is definitely good news. I'm glad that the queen is up in the top box laying. And there's some more brood on that side, more honey, a little bit of pollen, lots of larvae. I remember last year I tried to put two brood boxes on both hives I couldn't get the queen to lay in the top brood chamber to save my soul and then here I am not hardly doing anything she's doing it all on her own so this one's actually got a little bit of pollen up here I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera or not here so this is all all this up here is pollen honey brood there's some larvae on this side. Everything's looking really good so far. Oh wow, there's, there's even a couple in here that have pollen on their legs. Something that I would not expect on a day like this. I don't know if this is going to show up if I'm in focus here, but this one right here, she's got pollen on her legs. Very nice. This is a full brood frame right here. Wow. Population's about to explode on these guys. Lots of larvae. So all this right here, that's over here, these large cells, this is all gonna be drones. Matter of fact, this entire cell looks like, or the, the whole frame looks like it's drone comb, which is not necessarily a bad thing, considering that um, all the other frames that I've pulled out are plastic. They, uh, they don't they didn't start out with wax foundation or you know in this case there was nothing there it was just a completely blank frame so the the plastic frames or the, the ones that already have the uh, the plastic foundation in them have the honeycomb shape already kind of embossed on there and you can't really build drone comb on it so technically this frame is about the only place that they can openly build whatever they want Whereas the plastic frames, the only thing that they can really put on there is brood. But still having an entire frame of drones is a little unnerving. Just because I don't know if that means that they're about to swarm or something. So this one is just eggs. A little bit of nectar. 
nothing's capped over yet on this one nothing on this side yet so I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn this around so that they start building on the other side oh sorry girls nectar nectar and pollen typical outer frame stuff nothing too exorbitant all right well everything was great to say the least so far so good Honey frame. Put the honey frame on the outside. And we'll stick this one in between there. So, the reason I'm doing this and kind of, uh, it's not really checkerboarding, but just kind of uh, mixing it up a little bit is so that they, they build. Uh, they start building out a little bit more. With bees, they tend to do like kind of like a chimney effect where they start in the bottom and they take about the, the middle three or four frames and build up until they hit the ceiling and then they stop. They don't go out, they just stop. So, you know, it's one of those things where uh, unless you kind of coax them and show them like, you know, hey, there's, there's room, you can, you can build outwards because typically they're not going to do it on their own. So that's what I'm kind of, it's kind of what I'm trying to do right here is show them like, you know, Hey guys, you got, you got more room in here. You got extra space that you're not using. Let's utilize it. Oh, that's heavy. Wow. <sighs> Now that's weird. Completely blank frame. They haven't even drawn any wax on this thing. What is going on here? Okay, a little something on this frame. Looks like it's just pollen. Now they're getting feisty. It looks like they're just starting to build comb on these, which is weird. They usually go from the ground up, not from the top down. <laughs>
We've got some drone comb on this one. Pollen. Eggs. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a brood slash pantry, which is really weird to find in the middle of the hive. Not sure what that's all about. Looks like some of this is already hatched out. Very nice. Uh-oh. Yep. Queen cup. This is why we do inspections every seven days. I don't know if there's anything in there. Really hard to see. But I'm going to take no chances. No, there wasn't anything in there, but you never know. So that's indicative of swarming. And actually, oddly enough, on the same frame, on the backside, is another queen cup. Not sure if that one has anything in it or not either. They're crowding around it pretty well though, so. No, it was empty too. All right, time to put this back together. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the uh, the entire other hive uh, and record it uh, running out of space on my phone as it is. But um, so the long and short of it is that <clears throat> because they were so packed out in the top and the bottom doesn't really have a whole lot built up, I'm wondering if maybe the queen has only been hanging out in the top box which wouldn't be out of the ordinary because this actually, I need to get another shim and prop this up because as it's sitting on this, the ground has shifted because it's rained so much that it's actually leaning backwards. And when it rains, the water comes inside the hive that has nowhere to go. So you always wanna angle your hive forward a little bit so that the water will drip out. And you can actually see water stains on the bottom board on this where the water was. So that might have something to do with why they're not doing a whole lot in the bottom because of all the water that's that's down there um it also could just be that the queen hasn't really done anything in the bottom 
which could also be because they haven't really built anything up down there. So if they, if the, the bees built everything in this box, and that's the only place that the queen has room to lay, that's obviously where she's going to lay. So I'm not sure about how to coax them and get them back down into the bottom box, but well, we'll worry about that later. Hopefully they don't swarm. I don't think they will. Um, but we'll see about making, uh, maybe making a split from this in the next couple of weeks. Not too sure how I feel about that. I'll, I'll, I'll have to do a little bit of research on that. But anyway, all things considered, everything looks really good. I'm hoping this was the, the super package, by the way. This was the one that had twice as many bees as this one. So if these guys look that good, pretty sure these guys are going to look just as good. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I'm going to crack these guys open, see what we got going on, and then uh, give you kind of a summary once I'm finished. All right, stay tuned, guys. Well, guys, that's about it. Um, everything looks really good. As you saw in the Blue Hive, there was all kinds of everything. They've got brood. They've got um, their populations about to explode. So might have to, uh, might even have to do a, a bit of a late split on them to uh, to keep them from swarming off with uh, finding those two queen cups. Even though they were empty, um, there were no eggs in there. It's still the fact that they built it. It's kind of one of those things where they they don't start building it for no reason um well that's not true sometimes they build them for no reason but more often than not if you find more than one that means that they are in the preparation stages they're getting ready because they know it's coming so i'm going to try to prevent that as much as i can um you know the blue hive they also had um they've got a lot of drone population coming up there's a lot of drone comb. There's a lot of drone brood that's already um, that's already capped off. So um, you know, increasing your drone population uh, is one sign of swarming. Queen cups is another sign of swarming. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to stop that from happening, and maybe I'll get a split on them and see where we go from there. Um, I'm not too sure. I've only done a split one other time, so little a little anxious it worked out last time so hopefully it'll work out this time again um and then hopefully i'll just be able to keep splitting and splitting and splitting and um eventually over the next couple of years be able to actually get a true apiary um which is to say more than two hives so um that's it for this one i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here i'm i'm sweaty i'm nasty because it's humid as hell out here even though it's you know it's like what seven, 78 degrees ish uh, it's humid as hell and it just rained so that doesn't help so I'm all sticky and nasty so I'm gonna go home I'm gonna cook breakfast for my mom and then I'm going to go home well I'm, I'm gonna go to my parents house and then I'm gonna cook breakfast for my mom and then I'm gonna go home so uh, that's gonna be it for this one um, hopefully there'll be more videos to come I'm hoping that this actually lasts for quite a while instead of only for a couple of months like it did last year so um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully that'll, hopefully everything goes right. So obviously I'm tripping over my words right now. Can't think straight. I'm hungry. I'm tired. So I'm going to get out of here and I will catch you guys in the next video.